Distance versus displacement. When a ball travels along a circular track from point A to point B, the distance traveled from A to B is half of the circumference of the circle. However, the displacement is the diameter of a circle. And it has direction from A to B. Then a ball travels back to point A. The distance traveled from point A to return at point A is equal to the circumference of a circle. However, the displacement is equal to zero. Because the ball has returned to its original position. Therefore, we can deduce that. Distance is the total length of the path traveled by an object. Distance is a scalar quantity, which means that it has only magnitude and no direction. Its unit is meter. However, displacement is the directed distance from the start to the end points. Displacement is a vector quantity, which means that it has both magnitude and direction. Its unit is meter. Speed versus velocity. Speed is the distance traveled per unit time. Speed is a scalar quantity, which has only magnitude. Its unit is meters per second. When you are driving, and you see the speed of a car at the speedometer of 80 km per hour, which is instantaneous speed. Instantaneous speed is the speed at a moment. Constant speed means that the same distance is moved per unit time. Average speed is the total distance moved per unit time. If a car is moving with constant speed, then average speed and instantaneous speed are equal to the constant speed. If speed of a car varies with time, which causes its instantaneous speed to also vary, then its average speed is not equal to instantaneous speed. Velocity. Velocity is a speed in a given direction. Velocity is a vector quantity, which has both magnitude and direction. So, the unit of velocity is the same as the unit of speed, which is meters per second. Velocity is a vector, which means there is a sign in front of a numerical value to indicate the direction of motion. For example, Plus 2 meters per second means an object travels 2 meters per second in the right direction or upwards direction. Minus 2 meters per second means an object travels 2 meters per second in the left direction or downwards direction. If a car is moving up and down the hill at a constant speed, its velocity is not constant because its direction is always changing. Acceleration Acceleration is change in velocity per unit time. Acceleration is a vector quantity, which has both magnitude and direction. Its unit is meters per second squared. Therefore, the equation of acceleration is A equals V minus U over T. A is acceleration, its unit is meters per second squared. V is final velocity, its unit is meter per second. U is initial velocity, its unit is meter per second. And T is time taken, its unit is second. When final velocity V is less than initial velocity U, the object is slowing down. And acceleration is negative. This is called deceleration. When final velocity V is more than initial velocity U, the object speeding up. An acceleration is positive. This is called acceleration. If a car moves the same distance every second, it is traveling with constant speed. An acceleration is zero. If a car moves with increasing distance every second, it is traveling with increasing speed. And it is accelerating. If a car moves with decreasing distance every second, it is traveling with decreasing speed. And it is decelerating. Tips and additional knowledge. In IGCSE CIE physics, the velocity defined as the speed in a given direction. However, the more precise definition of velocity is the change in displacement per unit time, which the students will study is a level physics. Because in IGCSE syllabus, 
the students will study for the straight line motion only. In the straight line motion, the magnitude of distance and displacement are the same. Therefore, magnitude of speed and velocity are the same. Therefore, we can define the velocity as on the speed in a given direction. The equation of s equals d over t, where s is constant speed in meters per second, d is distance moved in meters, and t is time taken in second. This equation uses only constant speed and acceleration is zero. Average speed is the total distance per unit time, so we can get the equation of u plus v over 2 equals d over t. u plus v over 2 is the average speed, where u is initial speed in meters per second. v is final speed in meters per second. d is total distance in meter. t is time taken in second. This equation uses when speed is not constant, but constant acceleration. The equation of a equals v minus u over t. Uses when constant acceleration only. However, we can find the instantaneous acceleration when it is not constant from gradient of tangent line of speed time graph. This I will explain in the next video. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, I would be grateful if you would subscribe to my channel, share this video with your friends, and leave a positive comment. Your support will help me to continue making videos and encourage me to create new content. Thank you.